It's Stony, and as you can see, it's sunny. That means I'm not on the west side of Washington. I am actually on the eastern central side of Oregon, right next to the Dalles. And I'm here on business, and uh, you know, as they say, when you're away, do a little playing. So we're gonna do some playing today in some creeks. Uh, I'm on the west side of the Dalles, and it's called Chenoweth Creek. I'll put it down below. But we're gonna try some gold prospecting on this creek. There's two more uh, in the city limits. I'm gonna try and hit today, if not tomorrow. But uh, I've looked up and I can't find much information about gold prospecting in this area. Might be none around here. That's always possible. But um, I tried looking up the laws around here. Nothing saying I can't prospect right here. So if someone tells me to get out of here, then I will, but as far as I know, I'm on public land. But yeah, the view behind me is beautiful. I'm in the Columbia Gorge, a uh, bunch of dams around here. So yeah, wish me luck. Let's try and find some gold today. Okay, here's the Chenoweth Creek. That way it goes down the Columbia River. Kind of small, pretty deep right here. Nice little cliffs. That's probably only about 20 feet high. Looks like basalt, I could be wrong. I don't know the geology around here, but I'm on a little bit of bank that I found. Looks like no one's been here before. Not saying people haven't been here, but uh, I don't see any holes dug. And the bank is pretty squishy. So I don't know if we're gonna have much luck. There is some rock over there I can try. It definitely does look like it's pebbled. So it is weathered. But yeah, we'll give this shot, this place a shot, and uh, see if we can't find some gold. Okay, here's the first pan. Tons of black sand. Doesn't mean squat though, if there's no gold, which there isn't, in this pan at least. I did find some lead though, right there. And it was at the bottom of my, you know, riffle area of my pan, so my panning techniques are working. <laughs> So let's try and get a couple more pans and see if we can uh, find some of that yellow stuff. That second pan had nothing in there, so I'm gonna try the more rocky bank here. The gravels here are just so dark. Um, that just might all be the basalt, but like I said, it's when I'm panning, it's a lot of black sand, so it must be something heavy. Ouch, that hurts. Okay, let's pan this one down. Something's telling me we're not going to have much luck today, at least here. But if you don't prospect it, you'll never know. This stuff seems pretty light. The amount of black sands in here, you can't see that, but, and that's all black sands. I mean, there's tons. So if you've ever been to the Dalles, Oregon, have you ever tried to prospect? And if you did, did you find gold? You don't gotta say where, just curious if you, if someone has found gold here. I'm sure someone has in the past, but where is it now? Who knows? Okay, just some more lead, no gold. So I'm gonna stop here. If there was gold here, it'd be really micro, it'd be really fine. And I would have seen something by now because all the creeks I usually go to, uh, if there's gold there, every pan's gonna have one. And um, 
it's a pretty good indicator if I need to keep if I can keep checking more areas you know to find more or less gold but if I'm not finding any gold in the first few pants and like I said there's not much bank to work here anyway so I'm limited that's gonna do it so let's go to the next spot enjoy this beautiful day right I'm at the second creek this is called 15 mile creek I'm just south of Cushing Falls, C-U-S-H-I-N-G. And then uh, the bridge behind me, that's where the Columbia River is. And the Dalles Dam is just near the side of that bridge. It looks like um, it's super steep right here. And it looks like I can't prospect here. This is a National Wildlife Scenic Byway or something like that. I just read some of the rules. Maybe you can. I'm not going to chance it. But it's a pretty steep drop off right here. Water's super high anyway. There's not much bank to work, but it is pretty. And I'm glad I at least came over here and checked it out. I'm gonna flip you around, just show you a little bit. Then we'll try and find one more creek. If not, this might be it. All right, that's I-84 right there. And if you see, that's the top of the Dalles Dam. Right there, power lines coming in. And right here is 15 Mile Creek. This place is really pretty in the springtime because normally it's pretty uh, brown, but it's nice and mossy on the rocks. So it really makes it nice to look at. So there you go. 15 mile creek all right made it to our third destination today this is mill creek right behind me is the columbia river so i just saw a placard as i walked over here mill creek is actually in a tunnel underneath me and i guess it goes for like 852 feet into the city i guess they did that for some railway system or something but i'll, sh I'll flip you around and I'll show you where the Mill Creek is actually dumping into the Columbia River. But no prospecting on this section of Mill Creek. I am going to try to go in the city, but I did take a look before. There's not many parks and most of it's all private uh, land. So it's looking like the Dalles, Oregon is not going to have any gold in it. Now, that doesn't mean there's not gold here. I am on the Columbia River. The Columbia River is known to have gold in it, not big gold. Well, maybe there's big gold, maybe upstream, like further towards Canada. But around here where all the dams are, you're gonna find micro gold, flower gold. So there probably is that gold around here. As for beaches to actually prospect, there's only a couple marinas. There is a little park, but it's mostly grass to the water and i don't feel like digging up grass so if you ever wanted to come here to gold prospect you might want to go somewhere else okay if you did come here to prospect and you did find gold please let me know in the comments i'd love to hear your story and maybe if i come down here again you know i'll try those spots or you know try a bit harder i just don't want to go somewhere i can't go basically okay and all this geology here is not looking very good for gold anyway. So let me flip you around, show you the Columbia River. Here's the mighty Columbia River. So at this section here is pretty narrow. Not super narrow, but it's narrow. Uh, further downstream, as we get to Portland and Vancouver, it definitely widens out a lot, especially near the Portland airport. And then of course it goes, you know, through the rest of Oregon and Washington out to the Pacific Ocean. As for Mill Creek, it comes out right there. There's a, someone down there, you can see his fishing line uh, over here a little bit. He's fishing the mouth of the Mill Creek there. But yeah, that's where it flows into, right in the Columbia. One more thing too I wanted to add, the Columbia River has a bunch of dams that go up the entire way, basically up to Canada from Portland up. 
And so this river is huge, right? But it used to be way lower down in these gorges. So even though the water looks like it's high, which it is high, the gold probably isn't there in abundance because the the water is very slow. You know, there's a bunch of, it basically made lakes every five, 10 miles on this river system. So the likelihood of you finding gold on the shoreline along the Columbia at this point is probably pretty minimal. Just to give you a little backstory. All right, we're not done yet. So we're still on Mill Creek. We are just up from where the tunnel goes underneath the highway and railway system before it goes into Columbia Gorge. This is Thompson City Park. I just looked up the rules here. It says absolutely nothing that you cannot prospect here. It doesn't even say anything about it. So I'm assuming that we can prospect here. I found just a small little bank. We're gonna take just a few shovelfuls, maybe a couple pans and just see if we have any gold. I'm highly doubting there's any gold here. I'm gonna flip you around though real quick to show you a little bit of the land. It's actually pretty pretty down here. There is some trash from some homeless it looks like, but what are you gonna do? Okay, let me show you. Tunnel is right there. And there's a little bit of some encampment maybe. Some houses right here. Like I said, we're just right in the heart of the city basically. And uh, there it is. The water's pretty high, actually. I'm not sure if this is normal. I don't think it is. But uh, here's the bank right here. I'm gonna just choose a spot, maybe somewhere right there. In a little bit of a sun, sunlight there. And uh, try and find some gold. No gold here. That's uh, pretty typical of all my videos. You're not seeing a lot of gold. And I'm gonna safely say that the Dallas, Oregon has no gold in it. I did three pans here in different locations on this bank. Absolutely nothing. A lot of black sands, but I think it's just that basalt. I'm not sure. So we're gonna call it a day. Thanks for coming by and watching my tape. I appreciate you. Sorry there's no gold, but now you know next time you go to the Dallas, Oregon, just leave the pans at home because you're not gonna find any gold here. Until next time, Thanks again for watching and take it easy.